Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you and explain to you something funny that uh, I will demonstrate with uh, SolidWorks Flow Simulation and you may actually have seen it before. Uh, and what I'm talking about is aerodynamic cooling and uh, not the uh, common term aerodynamic cooling which just refers to uh, essentially wind chill, uh, heat transmission which is of course improved if um, air moves faster but actually Air actively being cooled below its original temperature by aerodynamic effects, which is kind of counterintuitive, since we usually think of like aerodynamic heating. We know that uh, spacecraft, when they enter the atmosphere at high speeds, they heat up so much that the air turns into plasma. And even jet fighters, uh, they don't get like space flight hot, but they still get like everyday hot. And uh, that's not the engine, of course. That's the engine gets really hot, but the uh, fuselage itself also gets like water boiling hot, not plasma hot, but uh, still it warms up. And uh, that is, of course, the overall end effect. Aerodynamic forces always mean that uh, energy is uh, input into the air and that in the long run will lead to the air warming up but uh, on the short run you can actually cool air below its original temperature this is just uh, some uh, random thingy i built for absolutely no other purpose than demonstrating this uh, in flow simulation this is basically built with the sole purpose to uh, demonstrate this and be easy and quick to uh, compute now you may uh, have seen this effect earlier in uh, my simulation of a uh, supersonic rotor fin kind of stalling where uh, you have these uh, areas above and below the uh, wake of the rotor fin where the air gets as you can see here below its inlet temperature like the surrounding temperature i set here is uh, room temperature that's uh, 290k and here it goes down almost to 260k and uh, here it's uh, even a bit more extreme. The air is uh, inlet at uh, 290k again. It quickly heats up to above 300k since it's essentially compressed through this tunnel at high speeds. And when it's outlet with a uh, certain turbulence and uh, into an expanding uh, tunnel, it actually cools down below 150k which is uh like much less obviously and uh the reason for this is actually quite easy the air is, the air is essentially depressurized if we uh set this to show uh pressure instead of uh temperature we can see that uh the whole low area is blue because the uh the range of the scale isn't quite uh, adapted to this yet. Wait a second. Now we can at least see uh, some contours. Uh, the air is rapidly depressurized, obviously, because in this case it's uh, flowing through an expanding tunnel. In uh, this case, because of turbulences around the rotor blade and because it's essentially guided behind the rotor blade and Thus, uh, below and above the wake, there is uh, depressurized air from those turbulences. And uh, when you rapidly depressurize air, now according to the ideal gas equation, uh, no, not exactly the ideal ideal gas gas equation, but uh, thermodynamics related to the ideal gas equation, then you uh, notice that if you just uh, ideally expanded some gas using a piston it would actually cool down in an inverse proportional uh, fashion such that uh, if if you expand it into like infinity it would actually reach absolute zero now this is of course a rough approximation and it doesn't really work uh, for such extreme values but of course thermodynamics is uh, upheld and you can't really get back any entropy by this and you can't really 
cool the air down too far but you can actually cool it down below in that pressure uh, below in that temperature just by expanding it and without actually removing any heat because uh, roughly speaking temperature is heat energy by volume so if you expand air and just leave the heat energy in the air the same the temperature will actually drop and if you pressurize it the temperature will actually rise you can also notice this if you buy like uh, pressured air cans that you can buy f to for PC and electronics cleaning uh, I have a few of those uh, I used to have a few of those for my PC uh, they uh, are essentially just uh, pressure cans with nothing but air in them and you can use them to blow dust away and the air that comes out of those usually is quite cold and uh, if they are almost empty they actually cool down themselves because it's pressured gas and air that is depressurized quickly and uh, th this is of course limited and in the long run since you transmit energy to the air and since if you uh, don't have a piston but if you just let air flow through something or have something move through air like a rotor blade then uh, in the long run the uh, air will go back to normal pressure again and all the uh, movement in the air will eventually come out at, as heat but in the uh, short run you can actually get uh, pretty cold air within uh, turbulences now uh, I hope this was uh, kind of interesting and thanks for watching.